Okay, my outstanding friends, who is not interested in mass extinctions? Well, they're talking about the Triassic, and then they're talking about the KPG extinction. And I have some very good information about the Triassic, because here it is right here. I'm going to show you the black cap, the gray clay, and the red bed. Here's the black cap. Underneath is the gray clay, and below that is this red blood, red bed. And guess what? Ugh! That's the black cap. There's a footprint that was pushed down through the red bed, which was here. The whole thing was red. A guy came, stepped on that, and pushed gray clay, which was on top of here, down underneath. There's the gray clay. <laughs> you see that? That's the red bed, which this was red bed all the way across. Understand what you're looking at now. This whole thing was a red bed. A guy came running, slammed through there, pushed this gray clay, which was on top of the red bed. It was red bed. It was two layers. Boom. Pushed it down through and kept running. Then the fallout of all the ash and stuff in the air, the black stuff, came down and landed on this footprint. And that's the black cap. That is the Triassic layer. This all happened basically in a day or two. There's no other way. There's no other way. This, they were all wet at the same time. The red bed was wet, and the gray clay went right through it. And here it is right here. And we're going to look at this in the microscope. But that's the gray clay. That shouldn't be there. It should be the same color here. But it's not. It's because they pushed the gray clay down through. And then the black ash and all that stuff fell. Because we were almost impacted by Venus. This is all fully understood now. And the... The astrophysicists have to look at this. And people that are geologists and all the ists need to, to address this. I'm showing proof. I'm showing evidence that can't be denied. And they all died in this great flood. This was a great flood. And the red bed was, the, and it's the bed, is the fleshy stuff that ran out of everybody's body. It's gr red clay, basically. And then some of the ash and soot and all that stuff mixed in it, and you get the gray clays above that. And then the black cap on that. That should be normal. But this guy stepped on the gray clay as it was just settling. Pushed it through the red bed, as we saw. And then the black cap came down and settled on top of everything. Very obvious. No question about it whatsoever. All three layers, three colors, all happened basically on the same day. And the gray clay got pushed down through the red bed. Okay. That was the Triassic extinction. Now we're going to look at this in a microscope. Because this was wet when this guy landed on here. I call these suck-ups. And I'll show it to you. I'll put a little moisture on it. You'll see. On the edges, it just went flat. But in the middle, it went... <laughs> and they made these suck-ups. We're going to see it in the microscope in a second. Okay, so my friends, what am I alleging? I am alleging this event happened just like that. All of this happened virtually in, within a few days. Now, this is the Triassic, Jurassic extinction event. Triassic means black cap, gray clay, red bed. It's the three colors. Now, here's what I am alleging for this particular extinction event was that there was a global flood. It washed all of the red blood and, and erodible flesh and turned it into basically a slurry of, of red clays. <laughs> this is the red bed. All right, now, then the guy came running and tried to get the hell out of town and he steps on the gray clay, which had covered the top of this. Because you start with the fleshy stuff. Then you get into some other aggregates. Let's call it that way. Mostly this is just red bed. This is the really, literally, 
almost 100% blood. I mean, this is about as red as it gets. And that was the, the, the flesh, eroded flesh. That's all it is. Then the gray stuff sort of settled on that. Now he came running and he hit the gray stuff, which was up here. It pushed down through the red bed. So now we can see, and I'm going to show you this in the microscope in a minute. You see all my little things here. But this, what happened was the gray clay now is not on the top anymore. It's down at the bottom because it got pushed through. And we can easily see here the two different colors. Let me get a little more light on here and you'll see it. But there's the gray clay. There's an exact distinct line. I mean, it's not hard to see at all. And it's at the bottom. It shouldn't be there. It should be up at the top, over the top of this, and then that landed on this. This is obviously the black cap. I mean, they don't get any blacker than that. And that is because that was all the combustible stuff that was in the air falling down on top of everything. So you have the red lead, the gray clay, which is sort of nasty stuff that was fallout. And then you had the red that was the real black stuff coming down on top. And this is exactly what Velikovsky claimed happened when we were almost impacted by a fiery comet that turned out to be Venus. Now let's take a look at some of this in the microscope. It doesn't mean too much because you can easily see right there the suck-ups. You see this? I call these suck-ups. These little bumps here. What happens when this guy hit, and I put my foot in this, and it's, it fits exactly, I'm almost exactly the same size as this guy. Here's where the balls of your feet go. Look at that. I mean, it's, it's exactly perfect. Now, these are the suck-ups, which means it went and hit, and, it, and as he kept running, it went, and that made these little dimples. Now, on the edge, there's no dimples, see, because it's not, there's no suction. Here, there's, there's no suction. Here, there's... And here's where his feet went, right in the front. Here's one of the, where the toe goes. And I mean, it's exactly identical to my foot. So that is the Triassic. It didn't happen over millions of years, 65 million years ago. This, and that. this was, as according to Velikovsky, I believe this event was 3,500 years ago. And it created all my mud fossils. I have scads of them. And Yale agrees with that as well. Their paper also claims exactly what I claimed, only now they took credit for it. Exceptionally preserved soft body, at a card, I they call it, biota, promoted by silica rich oceans. It's worldwide, worldwide strata. And they don't know how the fossils preserved. I know how they preserved. They preserved because it was a boiling hot water event. We almost got impacted by Venus. The whole atmosphere combusted. Velikovsky said after this event, so much oxygen in the atmosphere had turned into combustion, they couldn't hardly start fires for years and years until the, some of the plant biota, whatever they want to call it, started to refurbish the, the oxygen level. What we have to do is go back to the reality and the truth of what Velikovsky wrote and what I am presenting. Okay, I hopefully you understand. This happened basically overnight. They're talking about this Triassic, Jurassic extinction event millions of years ago and all this. They come up with all this. And guess what? On the land, all of these reptiles containing more closely related to all these different dinosaur things they're talking about all died. Dinosaurs became extinct, etc. Well, I can tell you what those creatures were that died. Those were like parasites on gigantic creatures. Okay, you see this? They're talking about the Triassic period being 250 million years to 200 million years ago. It spans 50 million years. And here's all the creatures they're showing, all these monsters and dragons and serpents and all these crazy things. Well, guess what those actually were? These were the things they were finding during the age of exploration, which was not that long ago. It was in, after a thousand, let's say a thousand years ago, they started to find these kind of creatures all in the oceans. 
and then they killed them all because they were attacking them. They, they, they hunted them down and killed them. But in the meantime, a lot of these ate a lot of sailors. And these were parasites that came out of creatures like this. This dragon right here died. And the creatures in this dragon that were parasites left its body and went into the ocean to find food. And that dragon covers all of North Africa. From here to there. Now think of the size of the parasites that would be in there. That is 1,100 miles long. And it, there is no denying this. And there's no denying that he tried to attack that fish. That's his face. That's his red flaring eye. I'll show you this. I have a little sketch I did of it. And this is where he attacked the fish's back. Now, this was all written about in Apollodorus 1.6.3, about Typhon in the desert, in uh, the, the, the dragon, gigantic dragon. We're living in a world we just don't understand. Go back and look at them. North Africa, you cannot miss it once you see it. These are all dragon scales that run down his throat. There's his flashing, fuzzy, hairy, feathery, whatever. There's his red flashing eye exactly as written in Apollodorus, identically. And here it is, if you want to see all these scales and the throat, you see the throat and the scales? Well, here they are in actuality. All right, there's his head. There's that red flaring eye. Here's all the fluty looking stuff they have on the parade dragons in China and everywhere. This, gigantic, this dragon was absolutely enormous. Now here's the throat, coming right straight down here, see it, just follow the cursor. That's where all that throat action went down, all the way down here until where it was cut. And that's also recorded in the ancient text that cut his throat. Zeus did with his great and mighty sword, which is his thunderbolts. And here is the dragon scales that protected his throat, but not quite enough to stop Zeus from cutting through his dragon scaled throat and bleeding out in the desert. And red blood causes green growth. And guess what we got here? Green, green growth. This is in the middle of the desert. That's because this is nothing more than basically the runoff of a dead creature's body, blood. They sell blood meal to make things grow green. This is exactly as I've portrayed this. And if anybody can stand up against it, I would like to hear them do that. And for NASA and so forth not to acknowledge this and, and then go to Mars, which they did. I'm not disputing that whatsoever. And people that are fighting me against this space and Mars and all this stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm sorry, I'm just done with that. So take that elsewhere. There is Mars, there is space, the, the firmament is literally the ionosphere. It separates the waters above, which is nothing more than light, from the waters below, which is condensed light and turns into water. That's, that's the whole deal here. This is a planet, it spins in space. This is not something that we can discuss here. I don't want to get into that and I am done with it. So please don't, don't go there. I'm done with it case is closed on that. Now, I have done my research. I, I say, please do some. Check what I'm showing. But look up what the uh, Curiosity rover found on Mars, and it's all biology. I just did a video on that the other day, and it's said right away, oh, there's no such thing as Mars. Well, those people are no longer with us. I'm sorry. Okay, my friends, that is what I call suck-ups. What happened was the foot went there and pulled right up off of there. Now, there's going to be spots where you get right to the edge. You see there's the edge, that little spot right here. There's no real, real suck-ups. There's no suction. Here, the, right at the very edge, you start to lose that suction. You see, and it gets flat on the very, where his foot went through there. But in the middle, you got all these little suck-up bumps. <laughs> There's a lot you can read into this if you look close. 
Okay, I've shown you that the things that they're talking about just are not correct. There were gigantic creatures on this earth that were so huge they have no idea. Now they're saying every centimeter of this core sample is a thousand years. That's because they are, oh, it takes a thousand years for this much and another thousand, another thousand. No, it happened very quickly. Now listen to what they have to say here. All right, listen to this. Each centimeter of this one and a half meter sample represents 1,000 years, not counting the greenish brown layer that has settled there in just a few days. <laughs> That's what I just showed you with a guy running across it, pushing that layer down through the other layer. Okay, one last thing to say. You see the size of these creatures. Think of the thicknesses of their, their bodily parts. These are... This is just flesh. This is a, 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 actually a tendon part. I'll show you. I have the same thing here. This is the really strong part of the tendon. It starts to reach out to the muscle. This is all the layers of, of membranes and muscle and tendon and connective tissue. That's not millions of years. That's like 15 minutes when the thing died. All right, and here's the same one I have here. Exactly the same thing. And what it is right here... This is the tendon. You see how it's brown? There's almost no blood in this. This is very, very tough stuff. And that's that main spot right there that comes out. That's that main white one. And then there's all these layers that you can see them. Now, this is where the muscle takes off. Now, I have another shot showing this because there's a bone up here. And the bone wears off and the muscle goes bad. And that happens in the ocean in these silicates. Let me see. Here it is right here with the muscle. You see the muscle? It's the same bone. Right here, the muscle, I mean the bone was over here. This is the piece that we're seeing in the ocean. It says 164 millions of years in one picture. Absolute nonsense. Everything I have came off the surface of the earth. Nothing is buried. It's all above. And it all happened According to Velikovsky, 3,500 years ago, all of these things occurred. Now, I don't know about Typhon and so forth. It appears that all this stuff happened at the same time. All these creatures were killed when Venus almost impacted Earth. All right, so we, we got a lot to look into this, and I want to get deeper and deeper and deeper into it. And, you know, the, the book about Velikovsky, my original book that I put out years ago, is still available. It's Mel um, Mud Foscals and Velikovsky and Mines in Collision. It's only 99 cents. It's just so that I can document he was a hero. He was the one that put, he, he, they destroyed his whole life for him telling the truth. To me, that's a hero.